Have you ever wondered why some fabrics seem to let more noise through than others? This project seeks to understand the following. How does the weight and weave of fabric affect sound transfer? My mission in this research is to figure out the relationship between the weight and weave of fabrics, and the way they let sound pass through. I'll conduct experiments, carefully observe the results, and connect the dots. I hypothesize that the sound loss through the fabric will be influenced by its weight, density, and weave. Heavier and denser fabrics are expected to provide better sound insulation. Because they have more material for sound waves to interact with, absorbing and reducing the sound energy. Fabrics with tightly woven patterns are likely to block sound more effectively than loosely woven ones due to fewer gaps for sound waves to pass through. In this test, we looked at different fabrics to see how much sound they could block. I thought that fabrics that were light and had lots of holes would let more sound through. Fabrics that were heavy and tightly woven would block more sound. Fabrics that were somewhat closed but not too thick would be in the middle. First, we tested a fabric used for speaker grills. It was very light and open, so it didn't block much sound. It only blocked 0.2 decibels of sound, which is a tiny bit. We found out that it blocked more high-pitched sounds than low-pitched ones. Next, we tested a fabric called Neo, which is used for projection screens. It had a low density but was tightly woven. It blocked 1.2 decibels of sound, just like I thought it would. The tight weave of this fabric meant it blocked more sound, especially high-pitched sounds above 10,000 Hz. Finally, we tested a fabric called suede, which had the tightest and thickest weave. Just as I expected, it blocked the most sound, blocking 2.9 decibels. It blocked more sound at all frequencies, but it made the biggest difference for high-pitched sounds at 10,000 Hz and above. In this experiment, I wanted to find out how different fabrics affect the way they block sound. I thought that heavy and tightly woven fabrics would block more sound, while lighter and more open fabrics would block less. I used special tools and did the experiment outside to make sure my results were accurate, but there were still some things that could have affected the results, like reflections from the ground and the tools I used. Even though there might be some small changes in the results, the main conclusions still hold true. I only tested three fabrics, with different densities and weaves. To learn more about how density and weave work together, it would be helpful to test another fabric that is heavy but has an open weave. Since I didn't test this fourth fabric, I can't say for sure if the weave is more important than density, but I learned a lot from this experiment. People who work with sound, like acousticians and interior designers, and even regular folks who own homes, need to understand how different fabrics can affect the sound inside a room. Fabrics used on windows can either block or let sound through, making the room quieter or not. Fabrics placed over speakers can also affect the sound they produce. This study found out that the thickness of the fabric and how tightly it's woven both make a difference. Fabrics that are not very thick and have lots of holes don't block much sound. So, if you want to make a room quiet by covering windows, you should choose a heavy and tightly woven fabric. But if you're covering speakers, it's better to use a light fabric with lots of holes, so the sound isn't blocked. Different fabrics work best for different situations.